Hello, my wonderful little lovable misfits. How are you guys doing today? This is your mad mother of the internet. And yes, as the title suggests, we're going to go through the rest of the 20 minute video where he constantly repeats himself and, well, quite frankly, makes an ass out of himself. Now, if any of you stands happen to even watch the video or click on it, and then you decide that you're going to go to my Twitter, which is right there, and then you're going to see certain things that you think that I'm a hypocrite for, let me tell you, there are some people I make fun of because it's easy, because they're narcissists, they don't think they do anything wrong, they're conceited and they think the entire universe revolves around them. And um, Nikki Boy is one of those people. Um, there's a couple others. So if you see me make fun of them on my Twitter and then, you know, you're going to try and quote tweet to drag me through the mud. I'm not sorry. And that's a table. That's a table. Not only do I make fun of our dear avocado fellow, whose last name is one of my favorite foods, I also made a few memes about it. So, <laughs> I'm gonna play that for you now. You back? Cool. Hope you enjoyed the meme show. Now we got to uh, jump into the shit show. So let's go ahead and jump into that. As you can see, nine minutes and 18 seconds. That's where we left off last time. And that's where we're going to pick up with him and the whole bullshittery and all that other bull crap and, you know, him talking about being hacked. So let's, let's, let's continue on with this little lesson in histrionics. <laughs> Just swear, boy, you running for that Oscar. I uploaded an old video, as I've been doing literally for four mother years, and all of a sudden I'm hacked because you said so. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't know you were my mommy. Oh, you my manager of Nick Avocado Avocado? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Stands and longtime subscribers to this poor excuse for a human being. If you haven't realized by now that he is talking down to you as well as the people that come to his channel for the express purpose of trolling in his comment section, I don't know what advice to give you. Because this particular section right here tells me that he doesn't give a shit about any of you. He's insulting your intelligence. He's insulting the fact that you've been watching him for years. And the reason that you're posting, are you okay? Have you been hacked? And has he been hacked? And any kind of combination of those words in his comment section is because apparently you noticed a drastic change in what he puts in his description box. And you wanted to call that out because apparently he has never referred to himself in the third person in the description box, which has you guys worried about him being hacked. But here he is acting like you're the fools, you're the idiots, and you're the dumbasses. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it there. Oh, wow. Go get a cookie, you're so smart. Go get a cookie. You're so smart. Einstein. There he goes. He's making fun of you guys again. You guys. The stands. The longtime subscribers. Not the people that are trolling in his comment section and demanding apologies. Not the people that have flip-flopped from going from his side to Stephanie's side and back to his side and then back to Stephanie's side again. The long-term stands and faithful subscribers. He's making fun of you guys. 
You are so, so smart. Wow. You feel better about yourself? Wow. Let's keep reading these comments. You have some serious issues. Says the person who's following me to tell me I have issues. If, and he's about to repeat himself here the same way he did with his Twitter. Every single puff, every single puff, every single puff. Because he likes being a broken record. Sweetie, you're almost at the 10 minute mark. Just let you know. Every single time I post, every single day for weeks and weeks and weeks. That is not more, than more normal behavior. Okay, I do have a question for people that tend to do that. Because I don't understand the behavior myself. What is the fascination of constantly saying the same shit in post after post underneath somebody's video? Because to me, it's a waste of energy, it's a waste of time. And even though you like to see him spurg out like this and completely lose his shit, whether this is histrionics or a meltdown, I think it's a combination of both. What's the fascination? Because I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't get it. Now, as I discussed in the first part, that this could be a combination of histrionics and, you know, him just playing this up for sympathy. Although I, I don't know how you would sympathize with him at this point of the video, in this particular video, because he is putting everybody on blast and essentially calling everybody stupid, telling them to fuck off and telling them he's not sorry, which he could have done in less than two minutes, but, you know... A long-winded fella over here can't help himself. Just saying, just saying, just saying, I have never literally sat on the computer and followed someone over and over and over and over and over to tell them, to go and tell them every time they post how much I don't like them over and over and over and over. Sounds like you got some issues, boo. Because you're too busy picking fights and starting drama with everybody on the fucking internet instead of sitting your fat ass down at the goddamn table and just feeding your face. Just eat your goddamn food, boy! Keep it moving, switch the flick the next station, girl. Keep it moving, Bill, but you can't. Who's the one with issues? Okay, bye bye. F you, if I'm not saying sorry, well, f you, I'm not gonna say sorry. Keep okay, that's two more. Let me come over here. That's two more. Where's my pen? Yes, I'm still counting these. Where's my pen? Oh, there it is. Alright, so we got two more. Alright, we got two more. Keep it moving. <laughs> From the person that, you know, likes to drag out drama. Again, in case you missed it in the first part, Stephanie Sue don't give a shit anymore. She's moved on. He's still stuck. He's having a breakdown. This is not okay. <laughs> All of these bosses coming out. All of these bosses telling me who I am and what. Telling you who you are. Here he goes again. He's being condescending. To the people that have been watching him this entire time. To the people that have followed him from channel to channel to channel. He's addressing you guys. Not us. Not the trolls in the comment section. Not us doing response videos for the first or second time. But you guys that are showing absolute concern for his well-being. Because it's only people that have been watching him for years that have realized that he's acting a little off. Now he's calling you stupid for it. But I'm done and I need to do this. <laughs> and listen, this is with no disrespect to people who are coming to my channel to watch me eat food. You don't just eat food. You start shit. You stir up drama. You do mukbang collabs with people you don't even like to set them up and quote unquote expose them because you have no fucking life of your own and if you just sat there in camera, talked about it, named shit all day, you'd probably be the most boring mukbanger on fucking YouTube. Honey, you, you're nosier than old women in an old fashioned neighborhood looking out a window in between blinds. You can't keep to yourself. You've got to inject yourself in drama. You have got to start shit with people. I mean, you know, how entertaining are you really when you constantly have to start drama with people to keep people coming to your channel? It's just a question. Period. Period. This is loud and clear to the people constantly, constantly berating my social media. Tell me to say sorry. Tell me that I am this, I am that, and you need to say this, and you need to do that, and you need to be this because I saw this, and that means it's true. Blah, 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 blah. It's to those people who need to check out, pack your bags, and keep it moving. 
he repeated this in the first part. <laughs> and for those of you that haven't seen the first part, it's probably going to be linked in the description. Keep it moving, huh? Yeah. All we know is what we have been told between Stephanie's videos and your videos. Because you won't release the footage. And as I said in the first part, what's a tea, boo? What's a tea? Just keep it moving. If you have a problem with it, most people, adults, switch the channel. Okay, he's right there. If you have a problem with him and you don't like him, instead of being obsessed and putting shit in his comment section about how much you don't like him or following all of, pretty much, you know, cyber stalking him just to tell him that you have a hate boner, just keep it moving. Just fucking keep it moving. Leave him alone. God damn. I mean, really. I understand that watching him do this shit and flip out and act mental for views is entertaining, but this this boy is. I just, I have no words. Just saying, just saying. Oh, but you're gonna sit here and diagnose me. You need to get over it, okay? Things get twisted, things get lies. I literally just watched a psychic the other day. He said, Nick's taking the fall for a lot of things he doesn't have to take the fall for. I'm like, thank you. Probably because he's a stand and doesn't know all the bullshit that you've done. Honey, I'm gonna say this one more time. So I'm gonna preface this with a skip. The people that say that you need help and that you need to seek psychiatric help and that they think something is wrong with you mentally are not the people in your comment section that are trolling you or have been trolling you recently. But they are the stands and the loyal subscribers that have been watching your shit from the beginning and they're seeing erratic behavior and they're worried. You're downplaying their worry, you're talking down to them, and you're basically calling them idiots. Not a good look. No, seriously, you. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. And this is my cinnamon stick. And this is what's going to keep the evil spirits out. Because I feel like there's evil spirits. Honey, if cinnamon sticks is supposed to keep evil spirits out, how come your ass is still in front of the camera? <laughs> because if the cinnamon stick in witchcraft symbolizes... The prevention of negativity and evil spirits from entering a space? How are you still able to sit in the camera? In front of the camera? Here it's coming in, casting spells on me. Excuse me, excuse you, excuse me. Excuse you, excuse me, excuse you, excuse me, excuse you. Perdón, mijo. But the fucking broom don't work. <laughs> okay? The fucking broom don't work. All right. For those of you in my live that are going to be in my live chat on this premiere, and for those of you that are going to put comments about that in the bottom, if you are a pagan, let me extrapolate because I have read about paganism. So I'm going to do this a second way or take two or part two of the it don't work. Honey, when you don't believe in a thing, it don't work. And you don't believe in the thing. You're just doing this with a little broom for histrionics and acting. You don't really believe that shit works. I am married to somebody who has a family who does witchcraft. Oh, good for you. So you better not watch out because I'm making sure there's no voodoo happening here. I am blessing myself, clearing the energy out, out you go, to the loo, out the door. And yeah. If you were actually blessing yourself, you'd probably burst into flames at this point. Just saying. Guess what, that bad, bad energy? can go right back to you over there, breaking your nails, trying to comment. Oh, you have to do this. You need to say sorry. You need to help. Pop. What are you even talking about? Sorry to do. For what? We covered this in part one. God damn it. Don't make me repeat myself. Take the wax out of your fucking ears. Pause the video. Get off the camera. Get some fucking Q-tips. Maybe some Muriel eye wa ear wax cleaner. Clean out your fucking ears. And go back and listen to the first part of the video. Because you bringing out all my goddamn fucking goofy ass accents for this fucking video, motherfucker. I am not going to repeat myself. I listed them all in fucking part one. Don't make me make the... Don't make me do the list again. Coño. Maricón. Energúmino. Hijo de puta. I can sit here and call you all sorts of bullshit. I'm Cuban, motherfucker. You're married to a Colombian. He and I can speak in Spanish and you won't fucking know what the hell's being said. I'm sure he don't like you, but no. But, like, it's... I, like, wake up and literally people are making up half this stuff. Like, 
like, I, literally, people are making up so much stuff, and I'm over here just like, um, um, who are you? Um, what's that? Who's that? Who's that? What does that have to do with me? Uh, oh. <laughs> it's literally hilarious. F you, go away. Bye. Not a monologue. I have nothing to say sorry for. Nothing. Nothing to say sorry for. And if you're waiting for me to say sorry, you're great. Go you're gonna get some gray hairs, okay? Out you go, go away. I'm cleansing myself with my cinnamon rod. It's not a cinnamon stick. It's not a cinnamon rod. It's a cinnamon fucking broom. At least get the name of the tool right, you fucking narcissistic asshole. Jesus, fuck, at least use the right name. Get out of here, it's a broom. And I'm not even- Oh my god, he finally got it right! How many tries did it take for him? He called it a stick, he didn't call it a rod, now he's calling it- You're finally calling it what it is. I'm gonna get on the broom and fly away because I'm not a witch. Which is why none of that shit's gonna work for you because you ain't a witch. You're a lot of shit. I can come up with lots of names for you, but a witch ain't one of them. Listen, this is getting ridiculous. I can't even open my Twitter. I can't even open my... I am not sorry. Stop. Fine, you're not sorry. You've spent 13 and a half minutes saying you're sorry when you could have done this in 10. I didn't say no, open my Twitter. Then don't open your fucking Twitter. I ain't, I'm not sorry. All right, you've said that. I don't know how many times. That's the only thing I'm not keeping up with. Because so far, you have said we don't know about 20 times. And you have said fuck you in all its iterances. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 43 times so far. 43 times so far. <clears throat> Stop asking me to say sorry. You need to get a life. Whoever this is who's ever commenting all over my life. You watch the YouTube video and you think you know what's happening in my life. <laughs> Just, it's literally hilarious. Not sorry for anything. Toodaloo, boo. Toodaloo, honey. Oh, honey. Toodaloo. Toodaloo, out the door. Bye-bye. Don't, don't, don't you worry. You're going to comment and let everyone know you're leaving. Oh, See, this is what I, this is histrionics right here. For those of you that can't tell the difference, he's acting. This is an act. He's overacting. Okay? He's making fun of people that constantly puts shit in his comment section. He's feeding the fucking trolls when you shouldn't feed the trolls. We are 14 minutes in. 14 fucking minutes in. I don't know how many times he said he's not sorry, but he ain't sorry, y'all. <laughs> and even though he needs to really just take a vacation from the internet for a while and then come back to it refreshed, he ain't gonna. He's not fucking gonna. You know why? Because he loves the attention. He loves being the center of attention, and it doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, neutral, or otherwise. This boy craves attention, and he's going to get it no matter what the fuck he does, because he don't give a shit, because he's that much of a narcissist. I literally come back next, into my next video and tell me that, and he still needs to say sorry for So, I, I'm not sorry, not sorry. You need to get it through your head. Not, well, maybe not you. If you're watching this, you're probably confused. Like, what are you going to talk? We're not confused, honey. We've seen Stephanie's first video. We saw your weak rebuttal. We saw Stephanie's receipt laden video response. We've seen Zach Choi actually say the entire conversation that you left parts out and show it because he didn't want you to show it to begin with. We've seen the comment, and that's coming later, that he left on the bottom of one of your videos, I believe the one where you're trying to throw him under the bus to straighten out the entire timeline because you can't keep anything straight due to your willfulness. You manipulate, you lie, you switch words around, you try and make other people look like they are victimizing you when you, sir, are the manipulator. You are the one conniving, you are the one scheming, you are the one coming up with all this shit in hopes that you come out smelling like fucking roses. Mr. Avocado, sir, you smell like a pile of horse manure right now. That's all I'm going to say. For the people who do know what I'm talking about, <clears throat> saying I need to apologize for this and this and this and you need to decide and you need to be held accountable. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, I'm like, actually, fuck you. You, I'm not saying sorry for anything because I didn't do shit. Get lost. You can watch a thousand million videos made about me who says I'm this and I'm this and 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 this
you got sucked into some YouTube stuff. Oh. I've seen people do what you do, honey. It's called being observant and noticing patterns and behavior. And your pattern of behavior is very manipulative. Get yourself a sugar-free cookie poo. Oh, okay. Do you want a cookie? Do you actually want a cookie? <laughs> I don't even eat sweets because I don't want to get diabetes. So. <clears throat> he just, he just did not. He just, he just did not. He really just did not. Please tell me he just did not. Oh my fucking god! Please tell me he just did not. I try to keep the sugar low, so you're not gonna get a cookie from me, okay? So go get a cookie from someone else. Out the door you go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go get cookies from someone else who might have diabetes. I don't have diabetes. I'm not eating. And I drink water, so I don't get diabetes. I don't even drink soda. So bye bye. F you. Bye bye. Hush. Oh. He he did. He went there. He fucking went there. Just when you don't think he can say anything dumber in a goddamn video that makes him look like an idiot to begin with, he goes and adds the third ring to the circus. I, seriously, really? Hey, jackass. Mass consumption of sugar. Eating cookies. Doesn't give you diabetes. Okay. Heredit diabetes can be hereditary, which means no matter how much you try and avoid it, you'll still get it. Being morbidly obese and having an unhealthy diet and not doing anything to correct that unhealthy diet can inevitably lead to diabetes. <laughs> You're talking to somebody now who studied natural health for over 20 fucking years. This is my fucking arena, motherfucker. Do you want to know what spikes your blood pressure? You want to know what spikes your blood sugar, rather? You want to know what gives you, you know, the cause for being borderline diabetes? Constantly expanding your waistline with junk food. With non-nutritive substances and sitting on your ass and not doing any exercises. Not eating healthy and having a sedentary lifestyle increases your waist. It makes you morbidly obese and overly morbid obese, okay? For two examples, look at Chantal Foodie Beauty and look at Amber Lynn Reed, okay? Chantal is already going borderline on her, uh, on diabetes, okay? Eating junk food constantly, overdoing it on your food consumption and your calorie consumption when you do not exercise and take care of yourself at all, leads to diabetes, it doesn't matter what the fuck you eat. And if in your family you have a history of diabetes and you continue to feed your face and expand your waistline, that increases your risk. So, if you think avoiding sodas and sweets is going to keep you from getting diabetes? I'll be here when you finally tell your subscribers that due to you being morbidly obese and having a fucked up diet, you got diabetes and you wonder why. I'll be here. Because unless you change the way you eat, unless you change how and what you eat, and unless you start getting some exercise in your fucking life, you're gonna have diabetes, motherfucker. You're gonna get it. You just need to stop. Um, I'm not gonna stop commenting until you say sorry. Well, well then break your fingers, go, go, go ahead and you burn out calories for me. Uh, literally, I'm not saying sorry for anything I did nothing wrong. I don't even know what to say sorry for. Sorry. Manipulating a situation to cause a young lady to feel rather uncomfortable because you were going to do a collab with her and you didn't like her to begin with. You made her feel uncomfortable. And now you're twisting her words and spreading lies. And that's only one example. The rest of them are in part one. Who, who are you even talking about? They're talking about Stephanie Sue, jackass. And you know it. You're sitting here lying. You're acting like you're ignorant of the situation when you yourself orchestrated this fucking situation and you can't handle the fallout. So what we're seeing is you not being able to handle the fucking fallout. Like, who? 
Hill, Hill, up uh, Hill. Oh, and this part, oh, and oh, don't forget him. And uh, uh, Hill, and I'm not sorry. I'm not. You mean I'm not the only one adding to the list? Sorry. I'm not sorry. You. I'm not sorry. You. You. I'm not sorry. And that's not good enough. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Go seek some some help if you can't if you can't learn everything that's happening in someone's life and you think you want to know everything that's happening in life about someone a stranger on the internet. I'm a stranger. You're a stranger on the internet, but what you keep not realizing or you keep willfully ignoring, I think it's the second one more than the first, but I digress, is this has been put out for all to see. Except for the security footage, which you still haven't given consent to release, and now that things that are in litigation, we may never see that footage. Okay? You're sitting here trying to reject reality, trying to reject that you ever did anything wrong, when the receipts are out there. Okay? They're out there. You can't ignore the evidence. You can't ignore the evidence that has been put in videos. You can't. It's concrete. Okay? And you're sitting here, what do I have to apologize for? Who do I need to apologize for? Who, 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 what, what, what? I didn't do nothing. Fuck you. I'm not sorry. And all this bullshit. All this over-the-top fucking history on us could have been done within 10 fucking minutes, but you're dragging it out to 21 so people, so people can actually see what it looks like when a narcissist and a manipulator has been backed into a corner because people have stopped buying their shit. And you think you know because you watched a YouTube video that someone made about someone else that someone did that. Literally, there's like a million videos made about me. People can twist and twist and twist until literally they're on that, what's that right when you start part the scrambler? Go ahead, mix it on up, mix it all around, twist things around till it sounds nice and pretty and everyone can come charge that me with the pitchforks and the, and the, the torches. I have my broom. That broom don't do shit because you, really, you said you didn't believe in witchcraft. <laughs> and as far as us go, yeah, we have gone to other drama channels, but we have also gone straight to the source. You, Stephanie, Zach. Because those of us that are old enough to remember this particular television show, I'm about to put an earworm in your ear. Go right to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you the answer that you endorse. It's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. Red. When you're trying to get to the bottom of situation, the easiest thing to do is what? Go straight to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you the answer that you endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. Ed. I have my broom, so you can't come here. You can't come I can come here, motherfucker, because you don't believe in that. I will snatch that broom out of your fucking hand, hit you over the head with it, and then put it in a fireplace. Come in here. I have my cinnamon stick. Go away. Bye-bye. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Did you, did you understand me? I'm not sorry. Did you understand? Yo te entendi, hijo. I understood you. Okay? I understood you. And I understand that you're lying through your fucking teeth. Because if you were Pinocchio, your nose would have already gone through the fucking camera and out the goddamn door. I literally, again, I'm opening up my Twitter. Let's see what else. So yeah, my Twitter is getting out of control. I just, I literally, 750 comments. I know from my side what I'm doing, what's been happening, what it has done. Your version of it, as you twist it, in your mind is a narcissist and a manipulator in order to make you look like you are absolved and without sin. So if you're so much without sin, throw the first stone, motherfucker. I have, I know, I know, but it's none of your business. You, listen, you can watch a million videos about me. Nick said this to the bee, and Nick said this about this, and Nick, Nick did a sharp his pencil, and he was a dull pencil, he lied, he lied, it was a sharp, it was a sharp pencil, it was a dull pencil, he lied, he said he was, people saying I'm hacked, who, did I say I was hacked? I already explained it, I'm not gonna explain it again, motherfucker. I literally licked everything as I normally do. It's called an upload default. I don't even you think listen. So you put descriptions of yourself in the third person that say this is well paraphrasing. This is what Nick was like and you know now you now watch videos of what he is now. What happened to you, Nick? That's third person. That's not normal for most people that have been watching you for years. So that's a default now? You put that in your default. Now it's your default. That that that's the story you're going with? That's your story and you're sticking to it? It wasn't me.
<laughs> it's very obvious that people have never uploaded a YouTube video before. And they're like, ooh, it's hacked. Ooh, wait, he's trying to be hacked. Well, his links are there. It's called upload default. You think I sit there and turn purple guy pop out every single video? <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Maybe you can upload a video and see how it works. I've uploaded several fucking videos, and yes, I have a default setting, and none of the default settings have me talking about myself in the third, furky, third fucking person. The only way those descriptions of you in the third person got put there is because you amended it upon upload. Before you finalize the upload, you went in there and you typed yourself, describing yourself in the third person, talking to yourself as if you were addressing yourself in the third person. You did that physically. Because if I was obsessed enough with you, which I am not, I could probably go through your whole fucking video library. And the third person description of you would probably be non-existent in the majority of your videos. Just saying. Default. Oh, that just comes up automatically. I would never pretend to be hacked. I never said I was hacked. I literally had to go on my other channel. I didn't know what channel was going on. I had to go and say, you guys stop saying I'm hacked. Well, he implied it. It's implied? It's called an old, it's called pre recorded. Well, he's, he's talking down to you people again. I just figured I'd point that out. He's talking down to you people again. Because he doesn't know how many of you stands and loyal subscribers make content of your own. So for those of you that do, he's talking down to you right about now. You might want to pay attention. Come to YouTube. It's called I needed something to post. It's called I was skinny and I missed my body. He was hacked. He's pretending to be hacked. He's he's twi he's nine. He's a nine. Someone made a video. Nick lying about being hacked. I'm like I never said I was being hacked. People become obsessed with me. It's, it's gotten to a point where people are so obsessed with me. Hi. 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 We did this at the beginning of the video. This is fucking deja vu. You miss your old body. You want to know how to get your old body back? You, you really, you really, you really, really want to know how to get your old body back? Stop eating fast food and overprocess fucking ramen noodles. Start actually cooking your own mukbang with fresh ingredients and uh, end up. Pst, pst, pst. Here's something revolutionary. That might help you get your old body back. You wanna know what it is? Go for a fucking walk! Hey, you can't stop watching me that you gotta twist your things around like a scramble ride at the amusement park. Goodbye. Bye bye. F you. You don't even know what you're talking about. I'm not sorry. Not sorry. I'm gonna apologize for anything, for anyone, for any did and everything. Anyway, I don't even know what people are even wanting me to be sorry for. To who? To hell, Bill. To hell. Sorry to hell. Oh, 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 because. Because? Because of the wonderful things he does. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry. Couldn't help it. <laughs> it's really rich. Go ahead. Go ahead and, you know, you just goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye. I have nothing to be sorry for. I'm not sorry. I'm not going to apologize for something I didn't do. You did it. You're just not, you're just in your brain. You're not allowing yourself to realize that you did it and how much you hurt people and how much your words and your actions impacted the people that were involved in the situation because you're too fucking narcissistic to take it, to take a back seat to your narcissism and take a look at yourself from another person's point of view. And you know what? That's a narcissist. You're never going to do that because you're getting all this wonderful attention and oh, woe is me and I'm the victim. Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Get the hint. Get the hint. Get the hint. That's really rich coming from you. You can't get a hint. Of course you can't get a hint because everybody else has moved on and you're still talking about this bullshit. So who's the obsessed one? And all that you do, 10% of what's happening. You need to say something. You need to say something. You need to say something. You need to say you, you, goodbye. You, I'm not saying sorry to anyone. You, you, I'm not saying sorry. Bye, I'm not saying sorry. It's not happening. I don't even know what I need to say sorry for. <laughs> like actually, like actually, nothing, nothing, nothing. You need to get over it, okay? You need to get over it. Most of us are taking Stephanie's cue. 
The only reason I'm responding to this is because, god damn boy, you're entertaining sometimes when you're going on these rants. And I love to respond to narcissists like you to try and take you down a peg or at least provide some sort of, inf some sort of entertainment on my channel. Because I hate narcissists. I hate egotists. I hate people that are manipulators. And, um, you tick all three of those boxes. You're childish. Here says the person commenting every single post of mine telling me to do something because they think I need it. They think I should. It is not childish to ask for an apology. It is not childish for people to point out the shit that you have done that has hurt other people and demand an apology. What is childish is this two-year-old temper tantrum that you're fucking throwing this little fit right here because you're not getting your way because nobody believes you or at least a good majority of the people that have been you know watching this unfold don't fucking believe you so you're throwing this little fit you're having these little histrionics and you're going over the top with all of your shit because you figure if you act this erratic then people will start having sympathy for you well, honey, you see this? This is my room full of fucks. You will find it empty. I'm literally posting and doing what I do. You come home from your work. You come home from your school. You type in Nicopado Avocado to tell me to do something you want me to do. Who's the child, Bill? You. 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 Because... If you uploaded videos doing what it is that you keep saying that you do on your channel, and I know I've said this a couple of times already, all you would do is sit in your chair at your table, lay your food out, talk about a television show, a movie, a book, and feed your face. You wouldn't worry about injecting yourself in other people's fucking problems for extra attention. You just sit your ass down and eat your food. Why the fuck? Fuck, can't you just do that? Who's the child? The adult switches the channel. The adult gets the flicker and flicks it to the next station, Bill. Honey, I'm the child. You, th you think you know because you saw a YouTube video? I know because I'm 46 years old and I know the difference between acting like a fucking adult and acting like t a two-year-old having a fucking temper tantrum. And I know we haven't been told the entire fucking story because you won't allow the security footage to be released. And you probably still have receipts on your fucking phone that you haven't fabricated enough to show it to us yet. And yes, I said fabricated because at this point, I wouldn't believe a single fucking word that came out of your mouth even if you had Taco Bell in front of you and said you were going to mukbang Taco Bell today. Do you even know what the truth is anymore? Do you even know how to tell it? Because at this point, I highly doubt it. Go get a cookie, but not for me. I'm unsubscribed. Go. You can want attention, Bill. You want to hear me give you I never subscribed in the first place. <laughs> I'm just here to point out your behavior. Attention. Let me give you attention. Aw. I don't need attention from your ass. Not answering. Not answering. Um. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Nick this, Nick this, he does it that Nick does this to his husband. Nick is a terrible husband. Nick is a terrible husband. They're referring to the video where you were eating those extra hot fucking chips and you kept begging him to tell you that he loved you before you gave him anything to drink. Okay, I'm not going to tell people what to think about that particular clip that I just described, but I, I've seen the clip. That clip is disturbing. That clip is horrendous. That clip, in my opinion, is a prime textbook example of manipulation and borderline abuse. I say borderline because, again, I am not a professional in this field. So, <clears throat> final count, <laughs> he said that we are not informed 20 times. 
I may have miscounted that one. He may have said it a couple more times. But... He said fuck in all of its iterations 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 57 times. 57. He said it 57. If you don't do shit that people find deplorable, that fe that people find that is trash behavior, that people find disrespects other people, <clears throat> if you do not find do things that people find utterly deplorable and disgusting, guess what? You don't have to apologize for it. I understand that you're unapologetic. You spent 21 minutes and 41 seconds trying to tell us that you are not sorry. Something you could have done in less than five. I'll give you 10 tops so the video would have hit the algorithm, but it didn't need to be more, it didn't need to be more than 10 minutes. <laughs> For the rest of you, don't do shit that you think you're going to regret later. Now, if you're wondering how the hell you're going to regret something later, ask yourself, is this something I'm going to look back on later and wonder what the fuck I was thinking? And if the answer to that question is yes, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Well, if you're going to do it anyway, don't record it and put it on the fucking internet. <laughs> okay? Too many people nowadays, for attention, upload all sorts of shit on the internet because they want attention. Not everything is fit for internet consumption. Your whole life shouldn't be on display on the internet for any reason. And yes, I do tend to tweet things about my life, but you don't know everything about my life. You know I'm Cuban, you know I live in Dallas, you know we're having, you know, small financial issues this week, and that's about it. <clears throat> if something major happens in my life that I feel is going to interrupt any kind of upload schedule, I will tell you guys, but there are things in my life I don't tell everybody, because the best way to fuck up any chance at having a semi-private life is to put your entire life on display. Don't do that, it's stupid. All these reality shows that show married couples eventually wind up blowing up in their faces because nobody wants to live with a camera on them 24 seven, okay? Narcissists like old Nicky boy here might be an exception, okay? <laughs> I'll say that. But yeah, the only thing that we know is what we've seen from Stephanie's two videos, Nick's one video, and then all the stuff that came out of Instagram and, you know, the, the official, <clears throat> official statements that Zach has said regarding the situation when his words were twisted and when things were used without his permission. I'm going to let you draw your own conclusions, okay? The next video that I am going to respond to, hopefully I can do it in one fucking video, but I doubt that's going to happen, is the one where he says, I'm sorry. That's fucking clickbait. I'm going to tell you that right now. He ain't sorry for shit. And that's the end of this video. If you liked it, well, you know where the like button is. If you disliked it, well, that's, you know, that's interaction on my channel too. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this and hit the bell and YouTube might tell you when I upload again and might not. They're very temperamental, like a woman on PMS. Um, all my social medias are down there as well as in the description, so um, y'all take a follow to me. And every single way that you can support my content and this channel as well as my blog links are in the description below. If you want to call me a bitch, if you want to tell me to fuck off, or if you want to continue the conversation, well, that's what the comment section is for. I don't block anybody in my channel because I want everybody to see what everybody has to say about, you know, the, con the content that I upload. So until next time, my little misfits, have fun, but behave. But if you can't behave, at least be good at it.